Hey YouTube fans, people of the interwebs, it's me, some of us you on, back for another Star Trek Official Starships Collection review. It's getting easier to say, it's getting easier and easier to say. Uh, my computer's bleeping at me, what's going on there, get off. Um, so yeah, as per the title page, I'm going to get cracking on with this. Finally, I've got fucking issue 14, Cardassian Delore. Fucking hell, it's only taken a month. Now I'm waiting for my Ferengi Marauder and my um, Dauntless, but I rang Eagle Moss this morning, they said sometime this week. So, yay, hopefully tomorrow. Oh, and I also got this today as well. Um, let me take it off. I got this today as well. It is the Quantum Mechanics um, you know, Voyager Combat. And it's taken from the original mould. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. I have an original combat from actually used on Star Trek Voyager. I bought it from the Star Trek Experience in Las Vegas. There you go. That's what it looks like. And it's exactly the fucking same. But this is can wear. This one can't really wear. Um, that's the one I used to wear. You know, this I got in 1994. And this is the new one. And they're both shiny. This one's incredibly shiny. Like I said, this is 20 years old. Holy crap. Anyway, I digress. So, oh, and it comes on a, uh, well, it comes on a very powerful magnet. Check how strong this magnet is. Oh, so, yeah, so I got that this morning as well. So, yeah, I'm quite, quite, quite happy. Quite happy. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I digressed. Yes, this I'm doing. Um, yeah, as per the usual spiel, um, you get the magazine and you get the ship. So, um, why ain't that sat on there very well? I'll come to that in a minute. So, as we get, like I say, get the magazine, we get um, specifications operated by the Cardassian Union, sometimes known as the Cardassian Empire, depends which episode you watch. Class Galore. Length 371.88 metres, top speed 9.6, crew approximately 600, weapons 8 spiral wave disruptors, um, torpedo launcher, I believe plasma torpedoes, I think Cardassians. <coughs> well, consists of green energy damping weapon, which I don't think they were equipped with. Um, anyway, you get the um, lovely CG render of it there, it's pretty cool. A um, uh, bit, bit of history on the Galore class there. Um, and sort of history again, you know, its first appearance in Next Generation to its, you know, Dominion, to its involvement in the Dominion War. Um, oh, look, the text specs, love this page, love that. It's a really good, uh, it's a really good um, CG renders of it there. Um, one thing I will note is um, we've gone for a different colour scheme for the actual model. On here, it's more of a um, more of a mustard yellow, whereas the whereas the model itself is more of a um, sort of sandy brown, sort of like terracotta almost. But I'll get onto that in due time. And then we've got. A brief history on the you know everybody's favourite Cardassian Dol Ducat, um, and some more history there, and then we get the uh, designing the Galar class, which I love this section. This is my favourite section of the magazine. Beautiful. Um, I said this is the picture of the studio model. This is the obviously the final design for it, and then there's a sort of a pre-design of it there, which is looking very, very, very nasty and creepy. Quite like that. I'd like a model of that. Um, yeah, and some more um, renders of it there. That's a picture of the studio model, and that's bizarrely a picture of the dreadnought from the episode Dreadnought from Star Trek Voyager. Hmm. Um, yeah, then we got the on-screen first appearance was the episode The Wounded from Next Generation's fourth season, and then it appeared in Deep Space Nine. Well, Next Generation a couple more times, Deep Space Nine and Star Trek Voyager. And it was designed by Rick Sternbach, who actually designed it off a uh, Ankh, you know, uh, an Egyptian Ankh. 
Oh, fucking hell, looks like it's going to piss down. Sorry. Um, yeah, so you can see there, it's pretty cool. And it's the same shape as the Cardassian symbol, which is not in this magazine for some reason. I don't think it is anyway. Um, no, it's not. That's a bit weird. Symbol of the Cardassian Empire. Oh, well, there you go. That's the magazine. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Now, onto the model itself. Like I said, the actual model... that. The actual, um, oh, it's coming up quite a nice a bit of colour on there. The actual model itself is more of a sort of a mustardy yellow colour. This they've gone more of um, like I said, terracotta brown. It's it's fine, it's fine, it works, and it's and it's kind of cool. It's got a red deflector dish, and again, the deflector dish colours de vary depending on which episode you watch. Sometimes the blue, sometimes the red. But yeah, it's it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's nicely it's nicely uh, moulded. Some real nice moulding detail underneath. Very plain on the bottom. Um, I think the Micro Machines one has better detailing on it, but it's not bad. I like it. I think it's good. Uh, you know, it's Cardassian. You know, I hope they do the Keldon class. That'd be cool. I like that. Um, yeah, it, it's it's nicely rendered. You've got. Um, it is missing a few details from it, but <clears throat> and this this section here should be a, um, sort of a grey grey brown colour. Um, but yeah, it it for what it is, it's not bad. Um, you know, you've got your shuttle bays there, shuttle bays there, fighter bays, and you've got a bigger fighter bay, the shuttle bay at the bottom there. You've also got the symbols tampered on it, which is quite nice. You've got the Cardassian symbol there, and what appears to be its name. Um, there's one on this side as well, and on the other side, you've got a Cardassian symbol there, you've also got one on there. Uh, this is where the main bridge is, at the top here. So yeah, it's not too bad at all, I quite like it. Um, what time I got it, anyway. But yeah, that's it, that's all that can be said about the Cardassian chair. But then again, they have gone for... Let me just check something, actually. I'm just throwing the magazine over there. This is great, isn't it? <coughs> Oh, I can't clean my, th can't clean my throat today. I must be coming down with with cold. Cause there is some, there is, it is going around at the moment. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, they've actually gone with the Deep Space Nine uh, pilot episode emissary. They've gone for the colour there. In that episode, they're actually closer to this colour. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's not too bad. I, I I I do like it. It is missing some paint apps and some details on it, but other than that, it's for the price isn't too bad. So and of course you get the the stand, you get the mounting bit, and then you get you know, kind of seen well it says, just says galore class on there. So and it fits. You take the wings, uh, which are the warp drive. Well, I assume they're the warp nacelles. It's also embedded the impulse engines in there as well, and there's an impulse engine there. Um, yeah, it's nice. I like it. I like the red deflector dish. But depending on which episode you watch, they've, they've been, I've been known to fire weapons from there as well. So, so yeah, it just sits on its stand rather nicely on there. That's pretty cool. I would like a uh, Cardassian Keldon class, please, now as well. So, well, that's me. That's the Cardassian Galore, and I'll catch you all later. Bye for now. Got my hair all over the place. Bye for now.